Ah, and Bucko, so we have a massive disaster and WW3 happening around the streets for Call of Duty. A lot of people are mad. We even have the YouTubers uh, Call of Duty shills actually going super hard at Activision, which is absolutely a bad yeah. moment. I never thought that in a million years we're going to be seeing Call of Duty shills going hard. We're going to be getting right into the story because I got a video to show you. Drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you love your mama because, ladies and gentlemen, check Wait, this let out. Me Roll just it. push back on that just a tiny bit because when you release the downloadable map pack, for Call of Duty and some of these other things, the resurgent pack for that game. Uh, I think it was exclusive for 30 days, for a 30-day window to Xbox. So if I'm hearing this from these regulators, whether they are off-base or not, and it's almost like they're colluding together, oh, what's the UK going to do? Oh, I'll wait to see what the EU does before the FTC makes a decision. If I'm Sony or I'm Nintendo, I'm on the phone to Bobby Kotick saying, Bobby, please tell me you're going to ensure that that doesn't happen if the Microsoft merger goes through. Well, it's funny. That Sony's not on the phone to us. In fact, they're not returning our phone calls. And so I think one of the things that's surprising to us is this is the time where ordinarily we would be Bruh. talking about the future and new opportunities together for partnership. And oh, shit! They oh, just shit. haven't been returning our phone calls. And so I don't know that we're as valuable as maybe they've represented to the regulators that we are. I think the more important thing, though, is you look at the business and you think about this $200 billion industry. You know, for, for us as a company, we have 400 million customers today. The entire business model is based on making our software available on every microprocessor that has a display. And that's Microsoft's business that's model since the exactly. 1980s. That's just easy. You know, I, my Macintosh, I use Word and I use Excel. And there isn't going to be a change to Microsoft's business Bruh. model. But somehow they're going to create exclusivity for content. And they're never going to do something that is going to in any way create a problem with players. It just doesn't, you know, business doesn't work that way. It, it just doesn't work. Like, boom, 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 boom. And ladies and gentlemen, this just doesn't stop here. Apparently... We have another situation, okay? Everybody gather on, okay? Gather on. This situation has been so wild that apparently I gotta make a dedicated video on this situation, okay? Yeah. And I will definitely drop a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell, because the UK CMA also says that they have no reason, they have a reason to believe actually Microsoft can make Call of Duty profitable being Xbox exclusive. In other words, they're saying that, bro, like, if Call of Duty goes uh, to Xbox, if Microsoft gets uh, Activision Blizzard, they can make Call of Duty exclusive, and if that happens, they can make a lot of money, and this could actually lead them to make that happen. Whether you want to believe this Bruh. or not, that's what the UK CMA is saying. They also state that the Xbox gamers, uh, more like uh, toxic gamers, toxic gamers uh, wanting Activision games on Game Pass, and that is not a reason to approve the deal. And... This is where a lot of the Sony ponies started doing helicopters with their release. This is where a lot of the Sony ponies went in gang gang style. And I definitely want all of you to gather around, okay? Like, I want to know, like, what you're thinking on the situation. Because the UK CME has given three different options to Microsoft. Number one, they said that we're going to cut the deal. We're going to completely annihilate the deal and you're not going to get anything. They actually said that I'll be making a dedicated video on that. The chances are very high that the deal will get blocked. But they also offered them two other uh, situations. They told them, uh, hey, Xbox, Microsoft, you can get the deal, but Call of Duty will not be included. They said that Call of Duty will not be included. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Or number three, this is actually wild. They said that you can get the entire Activision package uh, with the uh, World of Warcraft, with the uh, Candy Crush, with the Call of Duty, everything. But you can never, never in a million years, you can never make Call of Duty exclusive on the Microsoft platforms. Because uh, Xbox actually said that, you know, for t we guaranteed for at least 10 years, we guaranteed for 10 years that Call of Duty will never go exclusive. It will never be exclusive on Xbox. But after that, uh, we can, uh, if, we, if we feel cute, we feel like we want to make a billion, two billion, three billion dollars, we can actually make it exclusive. A lot of Sony ponies are shaking right now. A lot of the bots are being sent to coma right now. The situation is tough. But another on the other side, guys, uh, everybody, okay? Dome 6v6 and Museum 6v6 are the current 6v6 maps for the entire season 2. Boom, oh God. No maps have been listed for the mid-season update as of right now. And we have this homie out here, Kyle. He went, uh, he went ahead and said that super confident still because he caught Charlie Intel in 4K. Deadass, no cam. 
where Charlie Angel was like, I, I hope everyone sees just why we are super confident and excited about the future of Call of Duty. No, we are not paid by Activision. Stop the cap. No, we're not paid by Activision. Never have been. It was a two hour long call, of call with the devs and the level of transparency and communication was not something I've seen in 10 plus years of doing Charlie and Dell. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, clap it up for the homies. Some of the biggest cap in the history of planet Earth, but obviously he pumped the, pumped the brakes by saying that, uh, nope. If you actually followed me in September 2022, you will see I already countered that tweet and said it was wrong. Sorry, you cannot keep us. Uh, mm -mm, it's always you that's wrong. wrong. We are strong, but you are manipulating. So that's basically, they, they pulled that card. And I don't blame Charlie until, right? Basically, they were buttered up. The YouTubers, the Call of Duty uh, schlong suckers. I cannot say certain words on YouTube. Bruh. The Call of Duty shows, they were buttered up by Activision department. And that's what I'm talking about. And you want to see what the Activision shills are saying? We're going to get into that, ladies and gentlemen. But before that, I got to pump the brakes too. I got to show you this. In an interview on CNBC, Activision Blizzard CEO Bobby Codex says that mobile continues to be the biggest gaming uh, plat <laughs> biggest gaming platform man i just cannot compute this my my brain started short circuiting after this one and guess what we know we know we know that you just value mobile gamers okay you just value that call of duty on mobile you value that crush uh candy crush that's what you value three years 3000 devs and the level of incompetency is just really out of the out of the charts it's off the charts right now you're telling me every, we cannot get like two maps two brand new maps every two months that's that's yeah. we're not talking about an indie company it would have been understandable if you were talking about a small company mid-sized company we're talking about a company that is not just multi-billion dollar company but they're making millions every single day and you're telling me that they couldn't pull like two new maps every two months and a lot of people a lot of youtubers are starting to wake up right now we have the homie rara out here says that this content drop from modern warfare 2 and warzone is laughable and disgusting activision should be ashamed people paid 70 dollars for a game that isn't even adding an original map as a dlc we have the exclusive ace and ladies and gentlemen i want y'all to uh gather on for the billionth time again because ladies and gentlemen that's all we can do as giga chads we need to come together as one guys like uh, i don't want to see like no gamers fight with other gamers okay gamers are too busy fighting with other gamers rather than coming together as one and asking for a change if we stay alone and we ask and we demand for change it's not gonna happen guys we gotta come together as one and we gotta ask for change together and it's uh it's actually really good to see that because exclusive ace oh, shit. Oh, shit. never in a million year i would uh, I, I thought that he would actually go this hard as someone that's only interested in the paid portion of modern warfare 2 i've decided for the first time ever i won't be buying the battle pass wait what this may hurt my ability to get gun guides out fast, but battle passes are designed to support games as a service, and I'm not happy with this level of act service. My damn. This is insane. One guy responded by saying that, how many Call of Duty points do you have? Uh, ee, 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 ee. I always make sure to never spend them. Oh, okay, oh, that's a good comment, actually. Oh, my bad. Uh, so I can always get... <laughs> I can always get the battle pass one guy said that ace just a question man been following you on youtube for so long and was wondering have you even considered to do apex videos i know you are a respawn game mode fan and it just came up to me because apex is getting tdm next season uh cheers i may give their 6v6 a shot but i lost interest in apex many years ago Bumbo card. and guess what activision they know that gotcha bitch they know that they know that for the fact and this is why they are always manipulating and this is why they always try to nickel and dime their customer base we even have tom henderson coming out and says that call of duty does that many remasters now that they might as well just make one call of duty game call call of duty and follow the call of duty mobile formula we got charlie until says that the issue with call of duty is inability to clearly focus on all modes of the game and instead just leaning on warzone to lead the entire franchise which is a mistake and activision is still even in today's vlog hyping up modern warfare 2 upgrade to get more warzone to warzone content wait what and essentially the situation here is that Activision is telling people, bro, you gotta buy Modern Warfare 2? Because if you buy Modern Warfare 2, you can get more XP. 
for Warzone 2. Like, I, I just Bruh. cannot even compute that situation. On the other side, we had Charlie until says that this is what Activision said back in November about post launch of Modern Warfare 2, an unprecedented level of. Uh, oh, wow! Oh, what? Shocking! Shocking! An unprecedented level of support. The incredible momentum driving Modern Warfare 2 is a direct reflection of the energy and passion of the Call of Duty community. I cannot say that. I cannot do this, guys. Bruh. Said Joanna Ferris. Boom, boom, Joanna, mm -mm, general manager of Call of Duty, as we look ahead to an unprecedented level of support for Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2 launch next week. We are motivated to deliver a game for the best player community. Nah, man, not the best player community. It's like you already know you are constantly telling your community to go pound sand, go kick rocks. Uh, it's more like toxic gamers. Uh, that's basically, let's be real guys. Do not fall for these uh, words, okay? We got Ryan B. I cannot even find the word to describe Modern Warfare 2 season two. We got Espresso, runs a Disney channel and I got none Bruh. against that. G good dude, good lad, makes great content. But, but let's be real, he's never really gonna tell you the truth, okay? He's never really gonna tell you the cold hard facts. He's just gonna be like, yeah, everything is good in the hood. Uh, Call of Duty is doing better than than ever better than ever i love the homie i'm cool with the homie but let's be real they're not gonna tell you the whole truth but it's wild that he is going this hard as well but i mean he's not even going that hard let me actually Bruh. just uno that yes there is some cool stuff Bumble oh my God. there is some cool stuff revealed for season two but dude we're going to be five months into the game's life cycle for 66 multiplayer maps before we have the chance for a genuine new map first debuting post launch now what is with the re-releases now don't get me wrong like a dome is actually really good we should be getting that but as a bonus not as like a it should not be replacing new content it should be an added bonus like a cherry on top right but but i don't blame these youtubers man because let's be real do you not want to get early access do you not want to get paid do you not want to get games early do you not want to be flown out early and play the games early I, I mean listen i don't blame these dudes right i also had the option to choose a path uh, i could have actually stuck around with that i i used to get invited out by call of duty i could have shut the f up not say anything but i chose this path because uh listen man i, I cannot do this man like two remaster maps bro that's bull squash three years three thousand devs the level of incompetency is just unreal it's off the charts i could have chose that path but i but i find this path more valuable just keeping a buck 50 with you just telling you straight up i find this more valuable okay uh, also we have the gaming revolution says that infinity war just kind of new spec offs after just one season love ladies and gentlemen dr disrespect a friend when bozo they literally expose the activision they do not want you seeing this video click on this video on the screen or click the video on the left because things actually got leaked out and i will see you right there check these videos out guys